You guys and girls remember the show Pimp My Ride, which was on TV many, many moons ago? Well, they have decided on Netflix to make a show called Resurrected Rides. And this show, let me tell you, it's one of the most averagey shows I've ever seen, where they take cars that need to be resurrected, they need a lot of work mechanically, maybe, you know, cosmetically. And instead of them making them look more original, keeping the paint the same and the color the same so they can build value in the car and it can sell for more later on, they decide to customize it to the point where it's only des designated for one certain type of area of people. Which means that <laughs> it's going to be a lot harder to sell down the line. Uh, if they would have just had the original car, kept it original, you know, and kept it and just made it into a restored version, like a resurrected restored version, I would think like this show is really great. But they decided to do the Pimp My Ride epic failure kind of route where they destroyed and mutilated the cars. Now, I'm, I'm all for customization. Don't get me wrong. I like to customize my cars too. I mean, I'll put wheels on, I'll put a little bit of suspension on, maybe like a little bit of sound system, like speakers, but I'm not gonna go overboard with it too much, you know? Yeah, I might put like a lighter, like hatch or rear hatch, but as long as the paint color is the same and it all matches the rest and it's the original color, that's, that's okay with me. But this, this show, they've just completely gone overboard with it. They've just really put in a bunch of extra crap into the cars. Like who cares about having a DJ deck in a car? Who sits in the parking lot on a DJ mixing deck? Not a lot of people. So that's gonna be very hard to sell with all that stuff. And when you sell the car, you have to rip all that stuff out for the cost, because it's, it's, it's a car so you to use to transport vehicles, especially in today's economy, you know, <laughs> where, where the budgets are tight and people are just wanting the car that runs good and is reliable and it gets them from A to B and it gets them back to A. Uh, but that's just my opinion on the show. I've seen all the episodes and I try to give it some credit. I try to go through them all. Um, there was one that was like a Type R Honda Prelude that was kind of interesting, but... It's not really a Type R, so you can't really put a Type R badge or a Type R name on something that isn't uh, officially a genuine Type R Honda car, JDM car, you know, so it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have seen this show and you have been thinking along the same lines as me, let me know in the comment section. If you love this show and you think, okay, you're full of crap, bro, this show is amazing, it's incredible, then let me know in the comment section too. And if you guys are new, subscribe. Uh, but yeah... I am not going to waste any more time on his resurrected ride show. It just doesn't really appeal to me. You know, it, I'm getting pimp my ride kind of flashbacks and they just really did mutilate the cars and didn't do them right. And uh, most of those, majority of those cars actually lost a lot of value, you know, uh, because they tried to sell them at auction and they would just look terrible. They functioned terrible, uh, worse than what the factory would put out, the original would put out, and it just didn't really work. So, you know, my, 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 I'm gonna, my closing statement is this. Most of these people that have designed these cars, they're probably not better than the engineers where the original manufacturer comes from. So like a Chevy, Honda, whatever, Ford, you know. Um, I don't think the, they're as good as the engineers or better. So, you know, I, I try to respect the original engineers that designed, designed these cars and built these cars. And then I just do slight little enhancements just to make things maybe a little bit better performance, but not too crazy, you know. Uh, not too overboard. Anyways, that's just my opinion. Take it or leave it. See ya.